Hello everybody and welcome to today's Daily Splat, video number 19 in our series of 20, previewing the English Premier League ahead of this upcoming season. Sleason? Anyway, uh, now I can say it, uh, there is one day to go until the Premier League begins and that is very, very exciting. One more sleep. So, the team we're previewing today are Wigan Athletic. What does this steed... Steezen? First it's a sleezen, now it's a steezen. Sorry. <clears throat> what does the season hold in store for Wigan Athletic? Unfortunately, I, th I fear for them that it's going to be, finally, the season where they can no longer fight against uh, the forces it be, and they will go down. And that's not because I don't like Wigan. I'm genuinely really doing like Wigan and it's not just because United get six points off them every season no it is it is because they you know they go about things the right way they actually do try and play some nice football unlike other teams that are just desperate to stay up and they've proven quite a few times that they can stay up against the odds unfortunately the odds are just so much more odder that quite frankly it's going to be a very difficult task for them to stay up there is uh, no Charles and Zogbia, who's gone off to Aston Villa. There is no Tom Cleverley, who's joined, Man who's joined Manchester United once more <clears throat> after spending a season on loan, and they won't be getting him back, apparently. So, a lot rests on the players that are left. Obviously, Charles and Zogbia is the big loss. He was the talisman in the team, and often supplied the, the ball for the goals, in particular for Hugo Rodiega, who is still a very you know, decent striker, but he's going to have to really, really up his goals this season if Wigan are going to have a chance of staying up. Also, they've got uh, MacArthur, James MacArthur, who plays in the middle for them. Very, very, very good player when not being elbowed by Wayne Rooney. And, uh, <coughs> sorry, he will, uh, I imagine, have to take over a bit from Inzogby's mantle of being the man who pushes forward and plays the plays the decisive ball and really leads the team. <coughs> Sorry, I've got a bit of a cough. Um, they have managed to uh, get Ali Al Habsi on a permanent deal, though. He spent last season on loan from Bolton Wanderers, and now he is at Wigan permanently, which is fantastic. And they have made the signing of David Jones from Wolverhampton Wanderers. David Jones, a former Manchester United youth product who plays in central midfield, I think he's actually a good move for Wigan. He's the sort of player they need, a bit combative. You know, he'll give them a bit of steel in there. And he won't be afraid to uh, tell people what they need to do. He's also not bad with the football as well. Um, he's not, he's no Lionel Messi, you know, he's no playmaker. He doesn't really replace the attacking flair of Charles and Zogbia. But he will reinforce that midfield, which is really what Wigan need. Um... In terms of transfers, obviously there's a few weeks to go. They'll see who they can get on the cheap. But they need another striker to play alongside Hugo Rodriguez. They've been relying on him for a bit too long. All the other strikers they've got seem to have fallen by the wayside. Uh, also, I think this season will be a big opportunity for Victor Moses, who's of course brought in from Crystal Palace. He hasn't had too many games that he's had uh, an impact on for Wigan. But uh, I imagine he'll be getting a couple more games now in in Zogbia's role and will have a chance to really show that talent that uh, he showed a few years ago as a, as a younger player. And, uh, you know, we can see what he's learned and he can hopefully learn a bit more. Uh, one other story here. Sorry, I've been set this. This is... Uh, just need to load this one up. Wigan have also signed the <coughs> defender... I've lost defender, sorry, Stephen Coldwell who has gone to Birmingham City uh, after he was released by Wigan Athletic. Now, I'm not sure if releasing Coldwell was the best idea because Wigan's defence isn't exactly brilliant. Not that Coldwell was, you know, a, an Emmanuel Vidic-like figure, but Wigan, I think, the, the main thing they need to sign, the main player that they would need to sign, as much as um, an attacking player would be good, it's a really strong defender. The, the trouble is, I just don't see them being able to get one. So, <clears throat> all in all, my prediction for Wigan Athletic is that they will be relegated in 19th position. 
Uh, not that I would want to see that. Not that I would see many sides get relegated, with the exception of Liverpool and Manchester City. But, <clears> hey, <throat> okay. it's uh, it's got to happen to somebody. And, uh, well, who knows, Wigan may prove me wrong and do one of them brilliant last day survival things again. Because that is the one thing they do have going for them. All of those players that they've got in there have got Premier League experience. And not just Premier League experience, battling Premier League experience. The experience of fighting for every last point until you survive on the final day. You know, they are tough players to break down. And, well, I think the best match that evidenced that spirit last season was towards the end where they were 2-0 down to West Ham and ended up winning 3-2. You know, they could quite easily have been West Ham won that game and the Hammers could have stayed up and Wigan could have gone down. But they made sure that that didn't happen. So there is hope for them, even if I uh, I, I don't think they, they will have enough this season. OK, that's it. One more video to go after one more sleep. Tomorrow, Wolverhampton Wanderers. The Wolf Wanderers are the team in preview, and that video will be going out but a few short hours before the first kickoff of the season. One of which uh, is one of those first kickoffs being uh, Wolves' game against Blackburn Rovers. So, thank you all very much for watching this series. If you have been, uh, you can always go back and watch some of the older ones. One more to go, and that will be out tomorrow. Until then, bye bye.